Wearing the crown has always been a symbol of power and riches dating back to ancient times, with royals from all over the world using crowns as a sign of prestige, based on the cultural values and wealth of a region. This video will count down the top 10 most expensive crowns in their glory. Number 10. The crown of Queen Ranavalona III, the last queen of Madagascar, is a special and important symbol that shows the history, culture, and skill of the people of Madagascar. The crown has a beautiful and detailed design made from gold, silver, and many bright and pretty gemstones. The base of the crown has patterns similar to plants and flowers. This shows the great talent of the artists who made the crown and reminds us of the importance of the Kingdom of Madagascar. Queen Ranavalona III became queen in 1883, and her time as queen was very difficult because Madagascar faced many challenges from European countries like France. The crown was not just a pretty decoration but also a strong symbol of the island's power and fight for freedom. During her time as queen, she worked hard to protect her kingdom from being controlled by other countries and to keep Madagascar's culture and traditions strong. Sadly, Queen Ranavalona the third time as queen ended in 1897 when France took control of Madagascar. She was sent away to live on Reunion Island and then Algiers. The crown is now a reminder of the brave queen, her kingdom, and the strength of the people of Madagascar. The story of the queen, her crown, and her kingdom continues to be remembered through the crown's beautiful design and the history it represents. Number 9. The Bavarian crown jewels are a set of precious, historical items that once belonged to the royal family of Bavaria, which is a region in Germany. These amazing jewels include crowns, orbs, scepters, and swords, and they were worn and used by the kings and queens during important events and ceremonies. Created by skilled artists, the jewels are made from gold, silver, and valuable gemstones like diamonds, rubies, and pearls, which make them both beautiful and valuable. The jewels have a long history and are closely tied to the story of the Bavarian kingdom, its rulers, and the important events that happened there. The history of the Bavarian crown jewels goes back many years, to a time when Bavaria was a powerful kingdom in Europe. Some of the oldest items in the collection, such as the Sword of St. Maurice, date back to the 12th century, while others, like the crown of King Maximilian I, were made more recently, in the 19th century. Over the years, the jewels were worn by many different kings and queens, and they were passed down from one ruler to the next, adding to the history and the stories connected to these special treasures. Today, the Bavarian crown jewels are no longer used by kings and queens, because Bavaria is now a part of modern Germany and doesn't have a royal family anymore. But the jewels are still very important because they help us remember the history and culture of Bavaria, and the people who lived there long ago. You can see the jewels on display at the Residence Museum in Munich, Germany, where they are carefully preserved and shown to visitors who want to learn about the history of Bavaria and see the amazing treasures that were once worn by its kings and queens. Number 8. The Danish crown jewels are special, valuable items that belong to the royal family of Denmark. These pretty jewels include crowns and scepters, which were used by kings and queens during big events. They have a long history and tell the story of Denmark's royal family and important events in the past. The history of the Danish crown jewels goes back hundreds of years. Over time, new items were added to the collection by different kings and queens. Some famous pieces include crowns that belong to King Christian IV and King Christian V. Each item has its own story and was a part of the lives of the kings and queens who used them during special times. Today, the Danish crown jewels are kept safe and can be seen at the Rosenborg Castle in Copenhagen, Denmark. The castle is now a museum that people can visit to learn about Denmark's history and see the beautiful treasures that were once used by kings and queens. The jewels help us remember the people who ruled Denmark and the important events that happened in the past. Number 7. The Swedish crown jewels are a special collection of items belonging to the Swedish royal family. The jewels have a long history and are connected to important events in Sweden's past. Over the years, different kings and queens have added to the collection of Swedish crown jewels. Some of the most famous pieces include the crowns that belonged to King Eric XIV and Queen Christina. 
These jewels were important to Sweden's royal family because they were used during special times and celebrations. Today, the Swedish crown jewels are kept safe and can be seen at the royal treasury in the royal palace in Stockholm, Sweden. People can visit the treasury to learn about Sweden's history and see the beautiful treasures that were once used by kings and queens. The jewels help us remember Sweden's rich past and the important events that happened there. Number 6. The Crown of St. Wenceslas is a beautiful, important, and historic item that is part of the Czech Republic's royal history. Made with gold, precious gemstones, and pearls, it is not only amazing to look at but also holds a lot of interesting stories. The crown was created in 1347 for Charles IV, the King of Bohemia and Holy Roman Emperor, and since then, it has been used in many important ceremonies, like the coronations of kings and queens. The crown is named after Saint Wenceslas, a famous Czech saint and patron, who lived in the 10th century. It has a special, unique design with a cross on top, showing the connection between the kingdom and Christianity. Over time, the crown has become a symbol of Czech history, culture, and pride. Today, it is carefully preserved and kept in a safe place, so people can remember the rich past and traditions of the Czech Republic. The crown of St. Wenceslas is not just a beautiful piece of art, but also a symbol of power, authority, and the rich history of the Czech Republic. The crown's impressive design features detailed craftsmanship, intricate patterns of sapphires, rubies, and emeralds, which add to its magnificence and grandeur. Throughout the centuries, this special crown has been passed down from one ruler to the next, each adding their own story and legacy to its remarkable history. Legend has it that the crown of St. Wenceslas carries a curse, stating that any person who is not a rightful king and places the crown on their head will face misfortune or even death. This mysterious tale adds an air of intrigue and fascination to the crown's already captivating history, making it an even more important and treasured symbol of the Czech Republic's past. Nowadays, the crown of St. Wenceslas is securely stored within the walls of St. Vitus Cathedral in Prague, where it is protected by seven locks and can only be accessed with the consent of the President of the Czech Republic and other important officials. This careful preservation ensures that the crown remains a symbol of Czech history and culture for generations to come, allowing people to admire its beauty and appreciate its fascinating story. Number 5. The French crown is an elegant, important, and historic treasure that represents the royal history of France. Made with gold, precious gemstones, and pearls, it is not only stunning to look at but also has a rich and fascinating story. Throughout history, Different crowns were created for various kings and queens of France, and each crown showcased the artistic styles and tastes of the time. Some of the most famous crowns include the crown of Louis XV, the crown of Napoleon, and the crown of Empress Eugenie. The beauty and details of these crowns come from detailed craftsmanship, with beautiful diamonds, rubies, and emeralds. As symbols of power and authority, the French crowns played a significant role in royal ceremonies such as coronations and other important events. Today, many of the French crowns and their original gemstones have been sold, dismantled, or placed in museums, making it difficult to estimate their exact value. However, considering the gold, gemstones, and historical importance, these crowns would be worth millions of dollars in today's market. The French crowns remain an essential part of France's rich history and cultural heritage, allowing people to appreciate their beauty and the fascinating stories behind them. The French crown jewels, which include magnificent crowns, have a unique place in the history of France, symbolizing the power and splendor of the French monarchy. Over the centuries, the French kings and queens amassed an impressive collection of jewels, which were not only worn during significant events but also served as a testament to their wealth and influence. The French Revolution, however, brought about significant changes to the monarchy, and many of the royal jewels were either stolen, sold, or repurposed. In recent years, there has been a growing interest in the French crown jewels, as historians and enthusiasts seek to uncover their hidden stories and admire the artistry that went into creating these masterpieces. Even though many of the original French crowns may no longer exist in their entirety, their legacy continues to inspire awe and fascination, reminding us of a time when kings and queens ruled the land and the extraordinary treasures that symbolized their reign. 
Number 4. The Imperial Crown of Austria is a remarkable, significant, and historic piece that showcases the royal heritage of Austria. Created with gold, valuable gemstones, and pearls, it is not only captivating to look at but also holds a fascinating story. The crown was made in the early 17th century for Emperor Rudolf II and was designed to be a symbol of the Holy Roman Empire, an important political and cultural power in Europe for many centuries. The crown's beauty comes from its intricate craftsmanship, featuring detailed patterns, enamel work, and an array of gemstones with diamonds, rubies, and pearls. Over the years, the imperial crown of Austria played a crucial role in the lives of the Habsburg emperors, who wore it during important ceremonies and events. It was a symbol of their power, authority, and the long-lasting influence of the Holy Roman Empire. The crown was passed down through generations, and each new ruler added their own story and legacy to its impressive history. However, the crown's use as a symbol of imperial authority came to an end in 1806 when the Holy Roman Empire was dissolved, and the Austrian Empire was established. Today, the imperial crown of Austria is carefully preserved and displayed as a testament to Austria's rich history and cultural heritage. The crown can be seen at the imperial treasury, located in the Hofburg Palace in Vienna, Austria, where visitors can admire its beauty and learn about its intriguing past. The crown remains an essential part of Austria's history, and its legacy continues to inspire people interested in the stories of Europe's royal families and the treasures that symbolize their reigns. Number 3. The Imperial State Crown of Great Britain is an extraordinary, important, and historic treasure that showcases the royal history of the United Kingdom. Made with gold, precious gemstones, and pearls, this crown is not only stunning to look at but also carries an intriguing story. The current version of the crown was crafted in 1937 for the coronation of King George VI, but its design is based on an earlier crown made in 1838 for Queen Victoria. This beauty also features gemstones diamonds such as rubies, sapphires, and pearls. Throughout the years, the imperial state crown has played a key role in the lives of the British monarchs. They were during important events such as the state opening of parliament and their coronations. The crown is a symbol of their power, authority, and the continuity of the British monarchy. Some of the most famous gemstones in the crown include the Cullinan diamond, the Black Prince's ruby, and the Stuart sapphire. Each gemstone has its own story, adding to the crown's rich history and significance. Today, the imperial state crown is carefully preserved and displayed as a testament to the United Kingdom's royal history and cultural heritage. The crown can be seen at the Tower of London as part of the Crown Jewels exhibition, where visitors can admire its beauty and learn about its fascinating past. The imperial state crown remains an essential part of British history, and its legacy continues to captivate people interested in the stories of the royal families and the treasures that symbolize their reigns. Number 2. The Crown of the Andes is an exceptional, significant, and historic artifact that represents the rich cultural heritage of Colombia. Made with gold and adorned with emeralds, this remarkable crown is not only dazzling to look at but also has a fascinating history. Crafted during the 16th and 17th centuries, the crown was made to honor the Virgin of the Assumption, an important religious figure in the region. The crown has its distinct pattern of emeralds, including the famous 45-carat Atahualpa Emerald. Throughout the years, the crown of the Andes has played an important role in the religious and cultural life of Colombia. It was used during religious processions and festivals, where it was placed on the statue of the Virgin of the Assumption. The crown is a symbol of faith, devotion, and connection between the people and their spiritual beliefs. In 1914, the crown was nearly sold to finance projects in the city of Popayan, but the local people protested, and the sale was cancelled, showing the deep connection between the crown and its people. Today, the Crown of the Andes is carefully preserved and displayed as a testament to Colombia's rich history and cultural heritage. It has been exhibited in various museums around the world, allowing visitors to admire its beauty and learn about its intriguing past. The Crown of the Andes remains an essential part of Colombian history, and its legacy continues to inspire people interested in the stories of the region's religious and cultural traditions as well as the magnificent treasures that symbolize their faith. 
Number 1. The Great Imperial Crown of Russia is an extraordinary, important, and historic artifact that showcases the royal history of Russia. Made with gold, silver, and adorned with precious gemstones, this incredible crown is not only breathtaking to look at but also has a captivating history. Created in 1762 for the coronation of Catherine the Great, the crown was designed by Swiss-French jeweler Jeremy Pawsey. The beauty of this crown comes from its exquisite craftsmanship, featuring detailed patterns of stunning gemstones, including diamonds, pearls, and a large red spinel. Throughout the years, the Great Imperial Crown has played a crucial role in the lives of the Russian monarchs. They wore it during important events such as their coronations, and it symbolized their power, authority, and the continuity of the Russian monarchy. The crown's design includes two half-spheres, representing the Eastern and Western Roman empires, united by a large diamond arch topped by a diamond cross. The symbolism of the crown's design was meant to convey the idea that Russia was the rightful successor to the ancient Roman Empire. Today, the Great Imperial Crown is carefully preserved and displayed as a testament to Russia's royal history and cultural heritage. The crown can be seen at the State Diamond Fund in the Kremlin Moscow, where visitors can admire its beauty and learn about its fascinating past. The Great Imperial Crown remains an essential part of Russian history, and its legacy continues to captivate people interested in the stories of the royal families and the treasures that symbolize their reigns. For more content, subscribe to the channel, and see you in the next one.